G'day, this is Central Coast Newspapers Weekly News, 5 at 5 for the fourth week of March 2023, New South Wales Election Week. In the bulletin, electioneering in full swing, sunset sessions in Woi Woi, no victory to Mariners in Melbourne, autumn gardening news and Chef Daniel cooks a Greek chicken soup. Now as most voters prepare to go to the polls on Saturday, We have compiled a rundown of candidates in all five electorates which cover the whole of the Central Coast. Though early pre-poll voting stations have run a very brisk business and election officials believe it may be as high as 30%, we went out and asked the candidates to send in their pitch videos. Six responded in time and here's a quick take from those videos. At this state election it's never been more important to keep New South Wales moving. This election you have a real choice. New South Wales Labor will prioritise the people who look after us. I want to save our endangered species, our cultural heritage, our native habitat. Labor is committed to investing properly in public education across New South Wales. To me the important thing is about keeping New South Wales moving forward. If you're sick of getting the same old things from the major parties, remember your vote is powerful. Head over to our website's dedicated elections section for the full videos and details on all the pledges and plans. And or see this week's newspaper for a full rundown of all the candidates. And now for something completely different, Woi Woi Waterfront came alive this month as the community-led project Sunset Sessions kicked off at Lions Park. The event takes place on the second Friday of each month at sunset. Olivia Sharkey, local artist and founder of IMO, is encouraging locals with families, big and small, to come down for a picnic, some fun and games, and a whole lot of music performed by local and visiting musicians. She reminds us it's a free event and very child friendly. Now the Central Coast Mariners return from their tour to the southern capital of sport Without a victory over Melbourne's cellar-dwelling club, Melbourne Victory, at AAMI Park, the young team from the Central Coast lost its newfound mojo and was frustratingly defeated 2-0 by an experienced Melbourne Victory team hungry for both points and some respect. The Mariners had a noteworthy possession rate of 73% on the ball throughout the game but failed to convert that into goals and points. Despite the loss, Mariners coach Nick Montgomery was philosophical when asked about the poor results in Melbourne, saying... You no, know, we talk about the, the, the Amy Park thing. Yeah, obviously, I've only been coached for two years, so I can't go on, on coaching before that. But, yeah, it's not a good record. Um, and, and, yeah, it's, it's a strange one because you talk about it, you don't talk about it. And, and yeah, for whatever reason, yeah, it's just it's not been a happy hunting ground. But, you know, you, you do have that at some places. And, yeah, at some point we have to break that, uh, that, that hoodoo, whatever you call it. Unfortunately, it wasn't this weekend. Now, let's head over to the garden with gardening news. I'm Sherilyn Darcy and this is the Gardening News. Permi Kids, a nature-based activity in the garden event for 8 to 12-year-olds is on every Wednesday afternoon at Kilcare from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Bookings are essential. Call Anna on 0407 591 278. Musical Kids in the Kitchen is on at Swamp Tagra from 9.30am till 11.30pm on Friday the 31st of March. This activity is best suited for families with children 1 to 6 years of age. Tickets are available now through Eventbrite. On Saturday the 1st of April, the Community Environment Network invite you to come along to their April plant sale and learn about the principles of permaculture with Permaculture Central Coast. You can find the Wild Plant Community Nursery on Loop Road at Arimba. Now all of this week's 44 local stories can be found on that local news website, coastcommunitynews.com.au and in this week's newspaper, now out on Thursdays. Listen to our bulletins on local radio 93.3 FM every day or find us on your mobile phones, Google and Apple News apps. And of course, you can follow all our social for updates throughout the week. Now we leave you with this week with a taste of chicken soup from Greece. Avagulamono. Thanks to Chef Daniel's guest local artist, Nina Angelo. I am Chef Daniel. Now, if your day is going bad, you just have to think of one name. 
Nina. She is the colourful, the bright, and the artistic queen of the Central Coast. That's I, I'm, I just got to put you up there because you are. Thank you, Daniel. This is amazing to have you here, and it's fantastic to learn a very special Greek dish from you that I get to cook for you. Thank you. I'm very, very excited. It's a special dish. Now, the full recipe is in this week's paper or head over to our YouTube channel to get the Yummy Studio Kitchen program. I'm David Abrahams for Central Coast Newspapers. Have a great election weekend and thanks again for tuning in.